our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Marlon Chico. Ready. Ready. Let's do it. Right here's Marlon Chito Vera, the proud, popular Ecuadorian in another big spot here tonight. Comes in tonight with more finishes than any. Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh, there it is. That's that one. That right here. That leg can hurt. Oh, nice body shot. Just out of range with that kick attempt. They're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big right hand there. There it is again. Look at that. Now we're going. Oh, high kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. He got it again with the kick. That was beautiful. That knee might have landed there. Fly, what a pace at their fight now. Looks like he's going for the trip here. Great balance, though, and he's able to stay upright. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. The slip, and then the counter by Lee. Oh, well, why get away from it? Another huge kick lands. Oh, my goodness. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. So nicely done with the trip there. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground, under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and power. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Marlon Vera gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his butt out here, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. He can't get too excited here. He's got to take his time. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. And he's out again. Oh, going for a leg lock. The hook looks tight. Gets back up again. Nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Vera gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, fighting out of the clinch here. And not for long. Nice trip to get the take there. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. If they can do these takedowns in so many ways, you saw it in a full display right there with that trip. That doors is tight. Oh, he got out. Oh, staying active in pursuit of the submission. Now going for a leg. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Back and forth we 
go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. Oh, he got out. He did a great job of attacking the hand. That, that's what people don't realize. You cannot rush. You cannot force things you take that they give you, and ultimately you find yourself safe. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Cheeto Vera. Way to test the chin there. Playing with a beautiful combination to the head. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice jab by Lee. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Oh, collar tie. He lands another one. Oh, that's a good fight. Oh, this could do it. All right, well, good news is he rocked it. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. A nice jab by Lee. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Deep now. Ferris' kick is blocked. And there's a takedown attempt. That is, oh man, this dude is good. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around the block of face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot, and ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Under three minutes now here in round two. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Cheeto Vera. That is how you scramble, folks. Hook shot lands. New round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Setting up a spinning strike, snaps off the kick there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if he can finish it here. A flying triangle. I mean, is that even a real technique? I mean, the you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Your hook looks tight. Great submission defense on this play. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Good volume of knees here by Lee. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. 
Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Under a minute to go. Oh, that is a high-level mixed martial arts athlete. Great balance to avoid the trick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Straight right, he misses. Nice. Nicely done. Swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission. Oh. Dean. Ten minutes in the books. Oh. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Lee is bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. Oh! It landed some nasty strikes. Oh, straight to the body by Cheeto. Big elbow there, Lance. Just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't learn that overnight. Inside leg kick lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Submission defense was able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants us badly. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. It's oh. tight. It's over. Oh. 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 Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as he can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook. Marlon Chico!
Well, you heard it there from Buff Marlon, Cheeto Vera getting it done by submission here tonight. And when you fight Cheeto as a fellow Bantamweight,